Hey man, shout out Boss Talk one on one with ECEO, Miss Jamaica, and Money Moses, man. I heard no one but got himself to get it on my own. One ass for shit, don't need nobody's help to stick right by my BB belt. Cook that paperwork up in the kitchen, I feel like I'm a chef. My plug. Nigga, hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. This is Unique Hustle. It's your boy ECO. And I'm Money Mosel, by the way. You're creating content every damn day. Hey, man, we got a regular back in here, y'all. Yeah. One, a, a guy that don't really need no introduction. <laughs> this guy family. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't pull up, nigga. This is this family for real, man. Nah, for real. My boy Wise in Barrio's in here, man. What's going on, man? Nah, what's up with it, man? Man, I you know, I, I'm confused. I told you earlier, man, when I was talking about you last night, it was like, Rio, I'm like, who the hell is that? They keep saying like he hard, didn't it? I'm like, it's a new nigga on the camp, man. Nah. And then I go oh, on him. Yeah, he done changed bro. his name, man. <laughs> they kept saying nah, that shit, bro. I ain't changed my name. I'm still why I say Barrio. That's my rap name. But uh, my people around me, they just uh, I ain't gonna lie. We got a thing for for nicknames. So a lot of times, you know what I'm saying, we'll give each other different nicknames. And right now, uh, I'm running with Rio. Man, I'm like, who in the hell is Rio? What? The, you know, I was, I was confused. I'm like, yeah, I'd have been uh, Mario, Moneybag Mario, Barrio, why I said Barrio. Right now, I'm Rio, so it's just different. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Different me's. Man, you know, I always, like I said, man, I told you earlier when we was talking offline that, you know, earlier today, man, like the leadership role and the way that you stepping into the game and the work ethic that you putting behind what you're doing, really, I know already Woody 2 Live would be proud, man. Live you know real. what I'm saying? Because you talked about a little bit earlier, but then, when, when, I'm like when you came right out to your past, and mm -hmm. but it was kind of like you wasn't sure, like you was like, I don't know, man. You know, you know, far as how you was going to do it, and I think you're doing a great job. Yeah, appreciate you. Th uh, appreciate you for uh, telling me that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Uh, that's what really keep me going. You know what I'm saying? To keep making music and keep pushing myself. Because I, I say like how I used to do it was I just make music. And sit back, try to hold, think of videos, try to hold, see how I'm gonna drop it. You know what I'm saying? This year I just said, you know what, I'm finna full full sprint, dropping everything. Nobody gonna outwork me. You know what I'm saying? That's my mentality this year. So I told you that though, last time you was on here too. I right. kinda spoke on that. Like just the the way and you said it last yeah, night. He, he kept just holding it. He kept holding it back. Yeah, you, you even said that last time. So I think that's dope that you, and to come out with two consecutive projects like you just did, man, these boys ain't working like that. Nah, not at all. You know, I, I just want to um, chunk everything towards uh, Wally, you know what I'm saying? That's, yeah. that's that's the big battery behind everything, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know at the end of the day what he would want and how serious he was about his music and making money out of music. So I know at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? I ain't finna let this shit go down. Man, Damn. and he was so serious about it, you know. To you know, to, to that he did, to, like when he did the last interview that he did was on here, uh -huh. and 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 the way we was talking and talking to you earlier offline. But at any rate, just you know, the way we was talking about the YouTube and all the stuff that he was saying on here, man. You know, you kind of you you can go back and look at that video and know where he was at at that time. Nah, for real. And, like, I ain't mean to cut you off, but like, I just want to jump in there and say, like, around the time he died or passed away, that's when I can say he really had turned the switch, you know what I'm saying, with the music, just music wise, you know what I'm saying, because that nigga was gonna take off for sure, yeah. so, yeah, he was saying? serious I'm just, about I'm just picking up where he left off. I like it, man, <laughs> you know, I seen you when you, like I said, when you came out of the, and, and jumped on the mic outside, I think y'all was in front of a bank, yeah, Chase Bank, Chase yeah. Bank, and uh, I was like, dang, man, my boy finna go in, you know what I'm saying? So I just nah, love your really. energy, man, and I love the way that you 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 setting up you setting the bar, really. Nah, you know, for real. I'm trying and, to. Yeah, and I like that, man. So I mean, <clears throat> how many visuals have you done with these projects? Um, I shot one out the one I just dropped. Out the last one I shot, I think I shot like probably four songs. 2022, I didn't probably drop like maybe I say five, six videos by myself. You yeah, know what I'm saying I do features too. Really, songs with other people. So I probably say. Total about nine songs, ten songs, maybe nine videos this year. That's dope. You know what I'm saying man. I'm trying to get to. I tell my, I tell myself, and my team. I'm trying to get to like maybe like fifty videos by the end of this year. That's you know it, right there. He videos, got it right though. Got six to seven tape. Fifty two. Yeah. Well, fifty two. <laughs> yeah. Fifty two. Yeah. Yeah. Well, fifty two videos and uh, probably about six to seven tapes. But shit, I'm at two right now, so I may put out more than that. Already, man. So sorry for the swipe, man. What what made you come up with that name? Uh, I ain't gonna lie, my uh, one of my one of my one of my members, Dolo, gave it to me. He was just like, bro, uh, 
you swiping, bro. He like, you know what I'm saying? Swiping, we jugging, you know what I'm saying? So he was like, bro, uh, you ever sorry for the swipe? I'm like, shit, I just ran with it from there. And shit, I just put that tape together. Um, wow. Some yeah. of that music on there, I've been recorded, though, like, a lot of that music on there, I've been recorded. I just never released because you know what I'm saying. I really wasn't releasing music like that. I was thinking, I, I I was thinking about it too much. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Instead of just showing my true talents, that I really got some on the mic. So yeah, you know what I'm saying I really just put that shit out, finished it up, put it out, got some features on there, put it out. Well, that Gino Billy uh, is that. Uh is that, that that's the Wardy Two Live feature? Ginobili. Yeah, yeah Ginobili. Uh, yeah, that's uh, me and Wardy. I'm trying to get a. Uh, if I know somebody, I find somebody. I'm trying to get a cartoon video for it. Okay, that'd be dope. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm trying to get a cartoon. I, I got video you. I got you. I got. I got, I got like a that. plug for you. Uh, I got a plug for you on that. Okay, bitch. I got a plug you for said, you. Boss talk one on one. I'm steal my shit. <laughs> I got you, man. I'm gonna yeah. definitely uh, plug you in with the right person for that for sure. Um, so. And uh, you had another one uh, with you got YSN Flip on there, and and, and a Jug R feature. Uh, 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 that's uh, two, Jug Rich two uh, four two, two four, four records two four records. Yeah, uh, that's me, my boy uh, YSN Flip, my twin, and uh, my one of his little brother. His actually blood little brother Jug Rich. Uh, with the video out on YouTube. We shot the video, pushing the song. You know what I'm saying? Just uh, how long do it take you to make a song? How long it take me to make a song? Yeah. It depends, bro. I can make a song in 10 minutes. I can make a song in 10 days. I can make a song in two hours. I can make a song in two months. It just depends. Like, I'm I'm really on some, like, trying to be an artist with this shit. So, like, if you know, you some artists finish their pains in five minutes. Some finish their pains in five weeks. Some finish their pains in five years. You know what I'm saying? I just, I, whatever I whatever I put on them, whatever I put on the track, I just come back to it. You know what I'm saying? Or I finished it right there. Just however it turned out. Just, That's I'm all trying to. Make the song good than just about the time it'll being done with it quick or some shit like that. You know what I'm yeah, saying? You put more time and you get more out of it. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Pain, pain behind it. Mm -hmm. What, what, what is that about? What is that? What is that song? Uh, what inspired that song? Pain behind it. Uh, just uh, I really want to say my partner passed. Really, to be honest, you know what I'm saying? It's pain behind. It. That's what I say on there. Uh, I said about this paper it might be pain behind it. You know what I'm saying? So that this paper might be paid sometimes to get paper is gonna be paid behind it, you know what I'm saying? So, um, just basically talking about what I go through, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The pain about some shit I go through. Shit I go through, shit we go through, shit everybody go through, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So so I was asking last night on to some guys that was on here, how important is it to shop around your music? Like instead of just doing it locally where you at, going out to different places, whether it be and somebody said they weren't going to Mississippi, but wherever, say you go to Vegas or Cali or whatever, mm -hmm. do you think that's important to do? Yeah, I, I, like, like clubs or I, wherever. I, I always every time we go out of town, I shoot my cameraman out there with me. You know okay. what I'm saying? And if I can, I take my studio equipment with me. But if I don't. I either look for a studio out there, take my studio equipment, but I'm for sure taking my cameraman just because, you know what I'm saying? I could be shooting a video outside anywhere. Mm -hmm. Somebody come up to me and say, who is you? You know what I'm saying? I show on my Instagram, they like my music. That's a fan. That's somebody that, you know what I'm saying? One fan is better than no fans. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's what somebody told me one time. You got 200 views. That's 200 people listening to your shit. That's, that's better real. than somebody, nobody listening to your shit. You know what I'm saying? Everybody start off somewhere. Yeah, you got to so, start somewhere. You got to start somewhere. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm big on like just... I say everywhere I go, trying to put the music somewhere in it. You know what I'm saying? If mm -hmm. I go up the street and it's a scene up the street, I'm calling my cameraman. We're going to shoot a video right there. You know what I'm saying? You got a song called White Beater on there as well. Uh-huh. What is that about? <laughs> White Beater uh, is about, uh, I just say, like, basically, how can I say this on here? <laughs> basically, like, okay, people that's upper class, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Caucasian people that's upper class, you know what I'm saying. They most of the time, you know what I'm saying. They wear smaller, like I would say, smaller clothing. You know what I'm saying, like sh shorter shorts or something like that. So I'm basically just talking about me having money, my team having money, like upper class, like upper class Caucasian people. That's it. That's dope. Like that. That's dope. <laughs> so that's something funny. Yeah. So <clears throat> when you think about just. Uh, all of the different uh, uh, things that you've seen. Was you, did you do South by Southwest? Yeah, I went to South by Southwest. How did you like it this year? Uh, I ain't gonna lie. I went the last. I went. I, I shot out there Saturday early and uh, stayed that whole Saturday and left the next day. So uh, 
it was cool. It was cool. I did some. I did. I, I, yeah, it was cool. I like South by Southwest. I'll be there next year if I ain't bigger than what I am right now. Oh no, you working? So you definitely gonna be there. It's going down, man. Right, we'll for be real. there next year. With no problems. Yeah, you gonna be there next year, right? You gonna be there yeah. next year? I yeah, he is. I'm not going. He was gonna go this year, but I kind of pulled him back. We we getting ready. We go. We go. Not to go, but. Lil Brooke made Lil Brooke never made me go really they to did? be honest. Yeah. I'm going out there. I mean, you killed it. I already know you killed it, man. Kit Kat, what's Kit Kat about, bro? Kit Kat. I don't know. It ain't really no I ain't gonna lie, it ain't no just meaning behind Kit Kat. It's just me freestyling. Really, that's why I shot the video how I did it. It's just me just wilding, young nigga wilding, getting on the track, talking my shit. That's basically it. It ain't no meaning behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me ask you this, man. So do you think that uh um Cause I noticed the other one that you put out, you didn't put as many songs on it. Why is that? Uh, because the other one I did, I did, I, I did, I freestyle. Like I ain't gonna lie, I got the, the idea from the old Young Nation uh, when they was dropping like our freestyles and shit like that. They was taking old school beats and just remixing them. So I ain't gonna lie, I had my producer. I'm like, every time I hear an old school beat, I, I wanna hop on, I screenshot and send it to him. He'll send it back, but he'll send it back my version, the 2022 version. You know what I'm saying? With different snares, different snaps. Different type of beat, you know what I'm saying? But we're still with the same sample on there. So it ain't nothing but just old school beats that used to be on the radio and stuff like that. And I didn't jump on them and freestyle on them. It went crazy. So what's, your, crazy. What's, your, what's your best project out there, song? I mean, out there project? What's your best song out there project? Out the, uh, the freestyle? The Rio, yeah, the pre Rio Prescott. Uh, shit. I don't know. I like all of them. I ain't gonna lie. Probably uh, Mr. Touchdown, eh? no. Mr. Touchdown. <laughs> Probably that one or uh, Pimp. Everybody, oh, yeah? everybody likes still scamming though. Everybody likes still scamming, but I, I like Pimp and uh, Mr. Touchdown. They're my favorite too. I Man, so what inspired the cover? You you loving them Cowboys? You like their press college? They're my team. You ain't playing no game. Yeah, yeah, you were hurt. You were hurt when them boys That's lost. That's my team. Man. You were hurt in it. I'm hurt that every year. I, <laughs> shit. <Bro. laughs> you should know it's coming. You should know it's coming. Know it's, it's, coming. it's to the point where I know it's coming. Like, I know it's coming, but uh, I don't know. I just, I just played sports when I was little. I say I play quarterback and stuff like this, so I talk about a lot of a lot of I, I mention a lot of football players, a lot of basketball players, my music and shit like that, cause that's what I did. You know what I'm saying? So I found out my hustle. You know what I'm saying? I played sports. That's all the nigga knew was playing sports. So yeah, I just I just I mention a lot of sports in my music, cause that's part of my life. Man, you know what? When I think about, like I said, the fact that when when Wardy uh, was on here last and 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 he talked about, you know, uh, just. The, he talked about the, the clothing brand yeah. that he had. Um, I want to know, is that where is that at? What is it still around? Um, I ain't gonna lie, his people. Uh, I don't know how 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 serious the situation is, but his people supposed to be getting some lawyers and stuff to look into it so they can release it the right way. So okay, because you know I was I, me and him talked about it. I hear I was like, but, say uh, you know, I ain't gonna lie. I'm always thinking of a way to keep his name going, yeah, and yeah. we always two folk. My team always thinking of a way to keep his name going. So uh, we always thinking about uh, at this point of time right now. I'm glad you brought it up. I got a uh, a guy working on some different type of logos for us, and without his around his name, I already spoke to his mom and stuff like that. So she cool with it. But his actual Brand that he was putting out, yeah. They trying to get lawyers to look to, uh, you know, what I'm saying handle it. Yeah, cause we talked situation. about that was the so. last conversation we had was about. Yeah, that I think, they, I, think brand. They wanna, I was on I his head about to, it. Um, you know, put his stuff like out in, in stores or something like that because he got to be something like that for him to be talking about lawyers and yeah, doing yeah. all that kind of stuff. So well, two four jersey, two four jersey. That'll be dope to make him. That'll be dope. Name the bit. You got something going. <laughs> Like you already sporting the jerseys anyway on the on nah, the cover, real. so I make, I make it like that's Kobe's. dope. That's dope, ain't it? That's dope. I make it like Kobe's. Right? That's why you hear him, man. I take that from him. <laughs> I'm giving it to you. Nah, yeah, he, 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 it he it love it. You family, it. nigga. I definitely, I definitely you know you family, family like, so stop I, playing. And when I bring, when I get them, I'm come drop off a whole bring bunch them over here. We'll wear them. The logo, the logo on the on the shirt should be somebody with a microphone. Yeah, like, for like, real. Like the NBA got, but just a microphone to rapping. That'll be dope. That'll be dope. I need a logo. Hey, you know what? Find, find a picture of Find a picture of Wardy. Find a picture of Wardy. And, and just black it out like like the uh, like the NBA do. Like the yeah. black and white. And do it like that. He be up with a lot of different ideas, yeah. bro. I that, just got that in my head. <laughs> Talk my head right He's now. talking to my man. My mind be blank. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I just smoke a blunt or something oh, to get oh, catch, my, catch my mind. Yeah, he loved clothes. That's design, his bro. actually. Yeah. What, yeah, oh, the, yeah, the yeah the M M&M, the yeah. Money Moses. He wearing the boss talk for sure. Cause he, he you know, he he, he born in it. 
Yeah, nah, for sure. So I, I already, I, I, got, I think, man, I got to get y'all some uh, Boss Talk hoodies, man. We, got two, we see, killed I got it, man. Like I got so us. many different people that they killed I, it. I wear, I wear anybody customs if it's, if it's hard. This uh, this Mr. Hit that's right here, but I'm going to have to get in that Boss Talk. Bro, I thought that was yeah, come we, we, man, we've been killing, dude. You ain't been seeing Carl Crawford, everybody, Smoothie. They've been wearing the hell out of Boss Talk. I got to give me some Boss Talk gear. Jumpsuit's my thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got you. It's going down, I promise. Man, nah, so so what are you what are you thinking like what are you thinking that the, the the next move for do you think Dallas is really where not just Dallas, Dallas Fort Worth, uh-huh. Arlington, um how do you think the music is doing right now in the city, man? Because a lot of people saying that it's kinda ain't been no big hits and where's the hits at? That's what they say, but shit, I ain't gonna I listen, I'm 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 young, so I listen to a lot of niggas out here and it's a it's bro. That's that's what it is, bro. Like everybody tell me ain't nobody come it's so much talent out here that niggas is don't even know. Like niggas just I don't know what DJs. to do, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? You can't blame it on the artists, bro. Like artists is doing what they supposed to be doing. Like, bro, bro, you can turn on a lot of niggas shit out here and, and it's jumping, bro. These, these niggas not doing what they supposed to be doing with their artists. So Well, you got like Lil Earl uh that they keep talking about, Tay Money's that they keep talking about. Um, you know that they I, I don't know why they, they I guess cause it's the numbers of TikTok and all that are you are you even dealing with TikTok not me personally, be honest you ain't I even know, jumping had, out there had, even doing nothing so for many, TikTok I done had so many people tell me I need to put my sounds on TikTok I just ain't I just ain't grasped it but man I mean, how do you do that because C4S is waiting for somebody to get him a song to dance to. They'll do it. You just got to. It's like putting marketing. Bro, I got a my, couple of them. You see what I'm saying? I, <laughs> nah, I need to get on that TikTok. Yeah, because they on there and they came on here with like millions of followers. And they like whoever, you know, rocking with them, they'll, they'll, they'll dance to their song. But that's the way to get up out of here off TikTok. But still, at the end of the day, it's still a whole bunch of talent out here, bro. It's just... It's, Niggas got to be put in a position to take off some type of way. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. everybody ain't finna come up off One Hit Wonders or something. Some of us really got to get out here and drop music, mm-hmm. get in niggas' faces and work like this. So, at the end of the day, bro, somebody got to be pushing Dallas artists. It's, it's crazy. And they can come out here and get a bag. But no Dallas artist can go to no other city and, and go crazy. get a bag. crazy. People keep saying you know what I'm saying? Why so, do we think that is, though? People know. Let's I know. Talk why? About it. No, why? Why? People keep, why people keep saying it? What Dallas artists is going somewhere getting a Why bag? Why people keep saying that? Everybody from out of town come to Dallas and get a bag. Because they do. The who, who, in who, 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 is in, who in Dallas going to go get a bag? In that, but I'm saying, who, 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 we see them come. They come to V-Live and everywhere know, and get I a know, bag. I know, I see them, so I see them, but it's like the Dallas artists can't do it. Why? Dallas, I don't know. I'm, 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 I, don't I don't know. know. I can't tell you that, bro. We don't get the love enough. I don't know if they can't are, are, are we, uh, is it? I think I think some 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 of them not all but some of them get the big heads already and they think they too big to even do some some stuff in Dallas and they feel like they don't want to do it in their hometown some of them like that. Yeah, I feel that. Some I type think of way, but, I, I think Yellow the only one that could do it if he wanted to. Yellow, yellow. If yeah. he wanted to, yellow. I, just, uh, I don't think he want to. He go everywhere else. Get like, a bag. I feel like if Freddie wasn't in the Freddie in, too. In, in the shit he got going, shit he could too. It's a few. He them, really ain't in there no. Them big, them big dogs. <laughs> 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 them big dogs. Yeah, like that. Yeah, like, I guess you could say them too. If they wanted to, if they wanted to, but like just comfortably though, going somewhere and and, and just making just making rap money. I'm talking about just straight rap money, like. Just going somewhere, pick getting the front end, picking up a back end. Like niggas is coming out here doing that shit. We paying for it. You know what I'm saying? Even at um little events, shout out to Cozy. They throw a lot of events, you know what I'm saying, on the weekend. They the artists come out here and I'm pretty sure they ain't coming out here for free, you know what I'm saying? Pretty yeah. sure they getting paid some type of way. Even well, to go pop up at the club for two hours, you know what I'm saying? What does so, why what does why saying what what does Barrio uh want? Like in, in what did what are you looking for in your career? My career. You trying to get signed? You want to stay independent? You looking for what? What is the end goal? The end goal is to get signed for sure. Okay, you know what I'm saying. I'm thinking bigger than just. I'm thinking about everybody. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying. My team, my daughter, my baby mama, my you know what I'm saying, girlfriend. You know what I'm saying. My mama, her mama. You know what I'm saying. I'm thinking about everybody around me. So it's bigger than just you know what I'm saying, myself being independent. Independent being cool, but at the end of the day, I still gotta pay for my own clothes, my own videos. You know what I'm saying? If nobody try to sell my own tickets, you know what I'm saying for the shows, 
they don't talk about all the shit we pay for videos, promotion. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, that shit still. You know what I'm saying? Work on a nigga so if a nigga gets signed and somebody got a budget to push all that shit forward and I'm just somewhere just where I can just print the music and somebody else take care of all the other shit. Yeah, yeah, that that'd be the that'd be that'd be the way to go. Who would you wanna get signed with? Ten seventeen. Um, no <laughs> Bro. No. I don't wanna just say it cause shit. <laughs> I'm open to any, open anybody that's gonna come with the right and shit. They ain't gotta come with a bag. I got my own bag. I just need to, I need to, the studio time and the videos and the, I need a budget. Fuck the bag. I got. I'm gonna handle my bills and most of these and niggas get distribution shit. deals. Like they they go over there to Empire, but you know it, it, it it's it's a dangerous slopey. You know, it's a slippery slope. Yeah, yeah cause everybody slipping over there. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't yeah, want no good. distribution or 360 or none of that. All, I ain't even just looked into it, but it just sound like everybody get fucked up. No. It's 360s and the distributions. And the, nah, give me the other deal. I don't know what the other deal called. 1501 just, dope, man. We were just down there with them boys, man. 1501 dope. It's, real, it's hood, man. It's, it's hood call, down there. Carl man. Crawford, come get me. He was just on here. Fuck that. That's come, my guy. Come get me, Carl Crawford. And then we went down there this weekend and did a, we did their whole count. We rock with them. Kyle Crawford. Huh? Right before they went to uh, South oh, by I Southwest. Pulled up this weekend. Why you ain't go? You could have went with them. This weekend. Go. Hell, I don't. You know, I ain't gonna lie to you. To I'm, I gotta. I, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you be kidding me? Hey, he make a nigga want to come <laughs> back. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga, that say I ain't leave. I thought I had to it's leave. So I'm going straight to call <laughs> house. Straight, trying to call house. I love too. 1501, man. And uh, shout out Smoothie, man. Smoothie nah, over there, play pushing that nigga right now he too. He dope. Mm, he a dope person. Man, I just can't. You know, like I said, man, we got we got it going here in um, uh, Texas. Um, I think we we got a lot of talent here. I think um, I think opportunity is about to break loose. I don't mm-hmm. I, and and mark mark my words, it's about to go down. So you need to be positioned with a lot of music. Right. I think you need to be working, mm-hmm. and it's just gonna swoop you up. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, too. That's why I'm putting out. Oh yeah. I ain't stopping shit. Don't stop. And every stopping. time, so you coming back in like a couple of months? Nah, I'll be back. You know I'm coming back for already, you. nigga. Anytime. You know I'm about to talk. Say already, but we we better gear it all the way up, nigga. We doing a collab on that jersey, nigga. I might get on there, <laughs> give me a little patch, nigga. Nah, for real. You need to. Nah, so that's hard. so um, like who else? Do, who else do we need to look out for in two four? That's uh really putting you know putting it down two four. I'm going YSN Flip. Okay. Jug Rich. Okay. Kenny B. Who else? Lil Brooke. Hey! You know what I'm saying? That's my, that's my team right there. Oh, I left that. Uh, I'm Chad Gabana, SRT. That's my that's my little brother. He hard, too. You know okay. what I'm saying? That's just my little camp right there. That's, that's, Man, like, that's we, a dope we, we little coming. camp, nigga. We coming, dog. We coming. Take, I think that's, take what's ours. Th- I think that's important, man, to have that unity and that structure, man. Nah, for you real. You know, I manage Lil Brooke, so I know what's <laughs> going on with her. So oh, yeah. I ain't even tripping on that. I don't never <laughs> be getting my respect, you know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? Respect. No, but you know, at the end of the day, she knows she home times. team. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> he said he ain't seen my artist but two times. <laughs> but that's all right, nigga. I don't, I don't micromanage, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Anyway, so I mean, if you can't spread your wings and fly on your own, I can't rock with you nowhere. I'm too nah. busy. Nah, yeah. I did, serious. Nah. You got better spread your wings and do your own things. For sure, man. I love a creative, uh, you know, just somebody just go and get it no matter regardless. You right. know what I'm saying? Got their own hustle. Yeah, I hell yeah. Nobody do something hell yeah, man. You know, uh, Coming they ass. y'all family, bro. And uh, I, I love what y'all got going. I'm never going to let y'all go, bro. Nah, I, sure. I, I, I don't even rock with I think y'all the only, is this the only youngsters that I really just rock with? Cause y'all the way when when Woody came yep. in here, ever since then I ain't let y'all go. Like nah. I don't even like Kenny be hitting me. I'll be like, man, I'm coming on there. Like you just gonna tell me you coming? <laughs> then when you said you wasn't coming, he like I'm coming anyway. I'm like it's raining like hell, yeah, but yeah, get the cameras get my little, out. You know, I couldn't get my little daughter outside in that rain. I know it was crazy, but yeah, they, they were talking about they gonna like be a that. tornado. They oh nigga like I'm still coming. I'm nah. like nigga, that's <laughs> how he is. He don't give a damn. <laughs> When he make his mind up, he just make his mind oh, up. Me. But they last night you gonna love them interviews because they was like that Rio. That was, uh, that was a whole night thing right there. Like you've been working over there. I love how they do that shit though. They, I swear they, to God, they, I, I love that shit. You know that's what I'm dope. Saying? I love that shit. But you make it happen because you're deserving of it if you're working, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Nah, for sure. But they ain't gotta do that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Niggas ain't gotta do that. 
And they do that. That's why. That's why them my niggas. You know what I'm saying. That's yeah. why. They, that's why. That's my guy. That motivates you to push harder too. Yeah, though. That motivates the shit out of me. <laughs> I don't need to hear it from nobody but them. Oh yeah. God, that's. It, I mean, everybody in the world can tell me, but when my nigga tell me this, this going on, that's when I. That's what motivates me. You wow. Know what I'm so I mean, Lil Brooke. Let's talk about her for a second. I, I want to talk about the fact of she being. Uh, she's the only female that you guys is really just rocking out with on the music. Yeah, on the music. Yeah. Really? That's dope. That's dope. You know it always be when the group has just one female, she gotta bring it. Nah, that's just <laughs> She tough, she knows she tough, she knows she she knows she 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 tough as hell. I tell her all the time she tough as hell, she be slacking on putting out the music, but she tough as hell. She got it. Yeah. She got it for sure. Yeah, well that's why that's why I manage her. So you know how that go. <laughs> I know Say. how to pick them, nigga. <laughs> <Not> real. <laughs> Nibi, you hear that? <laughs> it's going down, man. Um, you know, so when you think about just just uh, uh, what we can do to make it even more impactful, I know you say consistency and putting out the, uh, you know, putting delivering, putting mm -hmm. out the music. Yeah. Anything else that adds to it, you know, like that makes uh, the ball roll harder? Image. Um my image, well, you, you know what I'm saying? Because people always forget that. Nah, they, you gotta you, forget that, bro. That, bro, that's that's why I just said, bro. Like they 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 independent artists, bro. We gotta like at the end of the day, niggas is men. So you know what I'm saying? Niggas got kids, bills, car note, all this on top of studio time. But that's why I record myself. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, you like me, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm doing my myself. We, they finna, old, they finna keep hitting me for that shit. But studio time, you know what I'm saying? Videos, promotion, eat get to gas money, you know what I'm saying? The, the weed, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, you know what I'm saying? That shit, because the uh, artist that's not independent gonna have somebody paying for all that shit for them, you know what I'm saying? Down to the clothes, all that shit. That's, that's your image. That's your rap image. So, that's a you know budget. Too. Keep building. Yeah, you know, that's, that's a, a tax write off. That's a budget. You, know you didn't hear so, me? Yeah, that's yeah, a tax write off. Tax right off. Right that's the weed tax write off. Huh? Yeah, all that, all that. Yeah, if you if you out of state, you got to be in Oklahoma though. That's you know what I'm saying? You got to be up in Cali though. I'm gonna give me some. I'm gonna give me some in Oklahoma, there, Oklahoma, Cali, or something. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. yeah. I only smoke it in Oklahoma, man. So, uh, man, I drive you know, I to go smoke. <laughs> and I don't know if your top three changed though. We got to talk about the top three because last time we had some, you know, you know, your boy YB been really flipping out on everybody. So, yeah. I mean, like, like top three artists of all time, dead or alive. I got to get them from you right now. Top three artists, dead or alive. Y'all always stick me up with this one. I'm going, <laughs> I'm going future number one, though. He always. Did you do that last time? Yeah, man. Nigga, you is tripping like every time. Somebody else said future today. Huh? Somebody else said future today. Nah, he was that he's number one goat. spot. Future, that's all. I grew up it, on future. Number two. Uh, dead or alive. I'm going to say Chief Keef. Chief Keef? Yeah, on the, on the music and the influential side. Chief Keef. Number yeah. three. Mm -hmm. Wadi 2 Live. Wadi 2 Live. I got to go with that too, man. Man, Lone Lil Wadi 2 Live, man. Wadi 2 Live. Man, this, I mean, you know. Sure. Gotta get, hey man, you gotta give it up, bro. Gotta give gotta it up. Gotta give it up, bro. Gotta give man, it up to him. Ahead of his man. time, for sure. Man. man, hey man, you know what? Uh, if, if it's anything that, did we miss anything? Nah, we covered everything. We covered everything because you, you know, you coming right back at them anyway. Nah, for sure. Every time the project drops, you just where you got to stop. You know nah, what I'm talking I'm about? Dropping. I'm dropping. <laughs> Check it, man. Hey, man, it's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. We love you. Let me stop right there and tell you that. Yeah, nah, I love y'all too. Man. Already, man, for it's sure. been another great segment of Boss Talk 101 where the bosses talk.